and I'm telling them what I got to, you know, I'm gonna have to go other churches and everywhere else to make ends meet. Brenda Sims is a mother of two. She receives disability benefits as well as food stamps. Like many families on the program, Brenda can't afford the cuts being made. They already don't cut them all the way down. Now they finna cut them down again. Like, you know, that's too much. For her family of three, she will receive a $29 cut, bringing her benefits to $497. According to the Center of Budget and Policy, this is equivalent to 21 meals per month. I'm already going to food banks, being my daughter's. We go on, and then I'm on this app, I'm on this this thing from Board of Education. They help me too. They send the food to the school, and the girls bring this food home. I'm already doing that. Solomon Smothers of the Northeast Georgia Food Bank says the cut could increase the amount of food needed at his bank. Some, some, we could we could really see some 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 drastic things happening. But he says they are prepared. We'll do a couple of food drives um, this month and then this season. And we'll have, we'll actually have so much stuff that we won't be able to put it all out here at one time. Regardless, Brenda Sims is still worried. Food stamp does help. It really does. And for them to be taking it out, you know what I'm saying, started cutting it, it might hurt us. It might hurt us a lot.